Peripheral connectivity has come a long way since the days of PS2 and SCSI. Large format flatbed scanners, anyone? While many advancements have made connectivity more streamlined, the arrival of USB-C also caused a new type of confusion. When USB-C was introduced, we published a video that explains the benefits of this new technology. Now, here are four ways to determine if your system has USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4 capabilities. One, check the processor. If a device has an Intel Evo processor, then it's simple. They are required to have at least one Thunderbolt 4 port, which works with USB 4 devices. Two, logos. On other systems, USB-C ports that have Thunderbolt 4 capabilities should have a distinctive Thunderbolt logo. In the absence of a Thunderbolt logo, other icons may be used to indicate USB 4 capabilities specifically. However, this can be inconsistent by manufacturer. 3. Device Manager It is possible to not have number 1 or number 2 and still have a USB 4 system. You can check this by looking in Device Manager under System Devices. The presence of a USB 4 or Thunderbolt controller can indicate if one or more of the USB-C ports on the device are USB 4 enabled. Finally, on some systems, the easiest way to determine the USB-C port capabilities is to consult the host system documentation. We've added a few of these resources linked in the description. Searching online for something like System Make and Model USB-C port and looking for the product specification page can be a good start. Incorporate USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4 compatible devices and connectivity accessories in your deployment today and improve business users' productivity. Mm -hmm.